All right, good morning, guys. It's about 9.30 in the morning. It's Monday. And uh, this was a bed I dug out two days ago. I've been watering it for the last couple days and feeding it some uh, liquid worm castings. Um, today was the day I wanted to plant it, and uh, I just wanted to share with you guys a little important feature when planting new young plants from the nursery. These are gypsy peppers. Um pretty similar, I think, to your sweet bell pepper. It's the first time I've grown these. And I've got some hatch peppers and a couple more of these, um, uh, what are these? The, they're not the banana peppers. They're the Hungarian, right? Yellow Hungarian wax peppers. These four I planted a couple days ago. And what I'm doing right now is taking off the flowers and any fruit that had developed while these plants were in their four inch containers growing at the nursery. Um, I'm not gonna pull off all of these flowers, but I am gonna be removing the largest ones with fruit that really seem to be on right now. There's another one right over there. Because what I want for these plants at this moment is growth in the roots. I want these plants to be able to grow large and have a big, nice, developed root system to pull water and nutrients up from. I want these stems to have swollen and, and thickened out a lot so they can support the weight of all my fruit. I did the same thing on my tomatillo plants the other day, and I should have filmed it. But the tomatillo plants had been flowering and I was actually out here earlier this morning removing just a few new flowers that had formed on this plant and on that plant. And it's the same reason. These are just young little plants. It's gonna be a while before I can consider harvesting anything. So even though I may be really excited about having gotten these plants in the ground and I'm excited that they're flowering and producing fruit already, it's like the same thing with your strawberries. You get those plants in the ground and deprive yourself for the first month or two. Cut those flowers, let those plants re redirect their energy back into the roots. Then they'll be big and healthy and you'll have really good killer harvests. So, you know, that's me on Monday morning. Happy gardening, guys. Talk to you later.